Hey, it's Esco Barca here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the problem with Usman Dembele. Though he's a great player, one of Barcelona's best probably, there are a couple of downsides to him that make him into just a great player, and not one of the best five in the world. So, make sure to stay tuned as we go over all of his weak points. First of all, he's not a big game player. Even when he seems to be in the greatest form of his life, there can be a big game where he's just a shadow of himself. There's a couple of big games that he was good in as a Barca player, like the one at home against Chelsea in 2018 and the Clásico that Barca won 4-0 at the Bernabeu this year, but that's literally about it. In other big games he's often had quite sloppy performances, he loses the ball too much, makes wrong decisions, has poor finishing and so on. Right now for example he's been in great form in La Liga, but against Bayern in the Champions League he failed to make a real impact, and of course Bayern aren't Victoria Pilsen or Valladolid and he was up against Alfonso Davies. But you cannot tell me that his dribbling and pace aren't good enough to hurt Bayern. He just seems to overthink things more on the biggest occasions. So the problem isn't his quality, and when it comes to pure talent he might be one of the best 5 players in the world. But within, there's something holding him back from having great performances in big games. He just has to learn to deal with that pressure. And if he can become a big game player, he'll be one of the scariest players in the world. But that's only one thing. Because something else that you've undoubtedly already seen if you've seen him play is that he can have a man of the match performance but then suddenly make a sloppy mistake. This happens almost every game. There are games where he basically single-handedly carries Barca to victory but at the very highest level one or two mistakes can be lethal. So you can play as well as you want but the mistakes that you make will be detrimental to the results. And most of the times the reasons for his errors are just his sharpness really. He's got it difficult to stay sharp for 90 minutes. That's why he will sometimes have a shot on goal that doesn't even get close to goal, and also why he makes a pass that hasn't got the right weight on it, or start dribbling but then lose control immediately. Even when he's been at his very best this has happened, so it's definitely one of his main weak points. Lastly, there's his lack of consistency. Now what I do have to say is that he's already way more consistent than he's been for most of his Barca career at the moment. For a long time he's gone from injury to injury and consequently he could never really get in form. He hasn't been injured for a while now though, because he probably follows a training schedule that's more suited to his way of playing. So he's been match fit for a while, and generally his consistency has improved a lot. For example, in 2022 there's no one in the 5 big leagues with more assists than him apart from Messi. He's even got more than De Bruyne. But still, you never really know what you're going to get with him on the pitch. Sometimes he'll be the best player and sometimes he's just there without doing too much and he doesn't look sharp enough. As I've already said, this is especially a problem in big games, but even in normal La Liga games you can't really tell beforehand how he's going to perform. This season he's generally been in great form, so whenever Xavi has called upon him he's been quite good. Though still, you're never sure and he can always have a mediocre performance, which is exactly what has happened now against Bayern Munich. So it's just something he needs to get better at, though he's already improving a lot. So that's the problem with Usman Dembélé. He's not consistent enough, he needs to work on his overall sharpness and he needs to do more in the big games. Apart from these things, he's basically the perfect winger. His dribbling is world class, he's incredibly fast, he's two-footed, his shooting is great, his passing is good and he's got the discipline to do his defensive duties. So if he can improve at his weak points, then who knows how good he'll actually be. I wouldn't hesitate to say that he'd be one of the best 10 players in the world in that case. That's how talented he is. And being one of the key players in Xavi's team, he can definitely improve at things like consistency and sharpness. Now he's still a player that will commit sloppy mistakes sometimes and show lack of consistency though. So I hope he improves, cause then we'll have an absolute monster on our hands. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca and have a good day.